Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Los Angeles Chargers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars in the wild card round of the NFL playoffs. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this game here, we did see the Jaguars had to essentially play to get in, beating the Tennessee Titans late in that football game with a lot of defense. The offense left a lot to be desired on the field, but then you saw in this game here, there's going to have to be a shift Trevor Lawrence is going to have to carry this offense in his football game for the Jaguars for them to have a chance. Justin Herbert and company, they've been to the playoffs before. They know what this is. They know what this is about. They're not setting their sights on just one, just making the playoffs. They're trying to make the playoffs and win in advance multiple rounds. When you're looking at Justin Herbert, he has one of the best sets of wide receivers on Mike Williams and also Keenan Allen that you can ask for. They have injury history. They have injury bugs that plague them. At times they're in the game, at times they're not. But if these guys can be healthy enough to get through this football game, I see a decisive advantage for the Chargers. Defensively, the Jaguars have a lot of young pieces. At times they play like game breakers, at times they don't. At times their aggressiveness is used against them because they're caught with their pants down essentially uh, uh, and they give up big plays. Justin Herbert has an arm that can go down the field. He's not going to sit there and dink and dunk you He's going to try to force the ball down the field, and he has accuracy as well. When you're looking at this one here, I believe the Jacksonville Jaguars overall on paper have the better defense to me. This is just my personal opinion. The offense then goes to the Chargers. You're looking at special teams being the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Both these guys have, uh, quarterbacks-wise, both these guys have things that they do inside the offense that makes the offense unbeatable at times. Trevor Lawrence, when he gets outside and the play action is actually hitting and you got Eatney on one side, you do have uh, just what he can do with his playmakers on the field. When the Jaguars offense is clicking, it makes for a better team build. It makes for the, 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 the stadium, the rock. It makes for everything to go better. But when the offense isn't there, it makes it like a flat football game. The Chargers, on the other hand, it doesn't matter what goes on with the defense. Their offense is always going to be carrying them because Justin Herbert is always throwing for 300 yards. He's always throwing for multiple touchdowns. He may give you a couple interceptions, but he's always throwing for multiple touchdowns. In this game here, I expect the Chargers offense to be too much for the Jacksonville Jaguars defense, and I think it's going to be a track meet. They're going to have to play a game that they're uncomfortable playing in Jacksonville, and I think that the Chargers can essentially just score more points than they can. When it's all said and done, I expect the Chargers to win this one. I'm not going to say it's a blowout, but you do have a couple of monsters on that offense that are going to help. Austin Eckler being able to run the football against the Jaguars is going to help in this one. And I think that when it's all said and done, the Chargers are just a better team and it's their time right now. So I'm picking the Chargers to win this one. Are you Chargers fans? Are you Jaguars fans? Get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you on the very next video.